nothing gross or nasty this week, nothing weird, just a plain old straightforward beer review. And what we're going to be doing is Long Trails Sick Day IPA. And we're going to use the, uh, the Sam Adams Perfect Pint glass because honestly it really is the best glass for tasting that I've found. So this comes in at about 65 IBUs, International Bitterness Units, so that's... Um, it's going to be pretty hoppy. It's going to have a lot of bitterness to it. Probably more so than a typical beer drinker. Um, somebody who's a fan of IPAs, though, is really going to like this. And at 6.8% uh, alcohol by volume, it's going to be a fairly strong brew. I mean, not as strong as some that sit in uh, barrel aging, uh, but middle of the road, definitely more than your typical Bud Light drinker is going to be used to. So we're going to pop it open and give it a try here. See if I can pour this and put a decent head on it. I'm still trying to master that art. Not too bad. It could use a bit more of a head on it with um, your IPAs and your aromatic beers. You really want to have a, a thicker head, at least half an inch or so, to really bring some of those, uh, those aromas up because that's going to enhance the flavor because you're really looking for that hop aroma because you know you get that into your nose that's um, the olfactory is connected to the taste sensation and that's really going to enhance it but um, we're going to go ahead and do this anyway it doesn't really hit you with a strong hop aroma um, it's there but it's not overpowering uh, honestly with something with that high of an IBU I would have expected more of an aroma The hop flavor is definitely there. It's not overpowering, um, but it's definitely uh, prominent. Uh, most typical beer drinkers aren't going to like this, but if you're a fan of IPAs, I, I definitely would recommend it. As it goes down, I'm getting more piney characteristics than anything else. Maybe a hint of citrus in there. Uh, the malt character is kind of complementing it. It's not um, not detracting from the hoppiness at all. So overall, a really good combination, but I would really typically recommend it to, um, to fans of IPAs in general. Um, it's got a heavier mouthfeel than, uh, than a lot of your IPAs that are out there. You can tell from the, the darkness that it's going to have a little bit more of that malt characteristic and then the malt flavor to it. Um, it's a little earthy, honestly, is the word I'd use to describe it. But overall, i, I got to say, it's pretty good. And I'm, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 on Untapped. Um, so check it out if you're a fan of IPAs. Um, even if you're an, an adventurous beer drinker, give it a try. Uh, Long Trail's got some really good ales out there, and um, this is definitely one of them. I don't know if it's worth calling in sick to work for, um, but if I had a 12-pack, it might happen. Um, just by the by, if you uh, like any of these videos, give me a like and a share on Facebook. Uh, maybe this will become a regular thing.